Facts First presents Scientists are still struggling to understand this new pizzly bear creature. For years, people have reported seeing strange-looking bears in the Arctic. In 2010, an Inuit man came across one of these bears and scientists were intrigued. It looked like a hybrid, the combination of a polar bear and something else. They wanted to do some research to find out how this bear came to be. And scientists are still struggling to understand this new pizzly bear creature. Before we get into our video, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. The man from Inuit, his name was David Kuptana. He lives on Victoria Island. The bear was discovered in the frozen Canadian north along the coast of the Arctic Circle. The temperature there is typically below zero all the time. David was born in an igloo in a small coastal community called Ulakakatak. Only a few hundred people are living in the area today. The community is home to the northernmost golf course in the world. This far north, groceries are costly because it's challenging to get them there. Because of the cost, most people live off the land. The Inuit people hunt polar bears. When the Arctic gets warmer, polar bears tend to spend more time on the land. That's because there is less ice in the water for them to stand on. This puts them in a human's way to be hunted. Polar bears are prized for their meat. The Inuit people use their fur as well for boots and pants. Since polar bears are vulnerable to extinction, new laws have been placed regarding hunting. However, the Inuit hunters still hunt them. Each year, the community gets dozens of tags for polar bears each year. That's how David found this incredible bear. In April 2010, David found a creature that he'd never seen before. He and his wife set out on their snowmobile and drove across the sea ice to a cabin on the island. They were planning to stay there while they hunted. And when they got there, they found something that surprised them. Somebody had broken into the cabin looking for food. Well, it didn't take long for David to realize that it wasn't a person, it was a bear. David and his wife decided to head to a different cabin for safety. This one also was ransacked, and there were fresh bear tracks in the snow. Even more strange was the mattress had been pulled off the bed and dragged outside. It was something David had never seen bears do before. He went from cabin to cabin. All five of them had been ransacked. And it was when he got to the sixth cabin he found something incredible. In the sixth cabin, David spotted a bear, but it wasn't a polar bear. This bear was blonde with dark paws and dark eyes. When it ran, David chased it. He thought it was a grizzly bear because he'd never seen one before. He was scared because he had never seen a creature like this. When he caught up to the bear, he shot and killed it. He took it to the local government officer in town who told him that was not a grizzly bear and it wasn't a polar bear. He believed it was a hybrid. The officer took samples of the bear's DNA to be tested, and it didn't take long for the officer to find out that this was not the only bear of its kind. There were 20 bears born in captivity just like it, two of them in Germany's Osnabrück Zoo. Their names are Tips and Taps, and they're called Pizzly Bears. In 2006, a hunter found the first confirmed Pizzly Bear on Banks Island, Northern Territories, Canada. There had been stories of these strange-looking bears, but the DNA had not been tested until 2006. When they found the hybrid, they didn't think much of it at first. When the third confirmed hybrid was discovered in 2016 by a hunter in Arviat, Canada, and they were sure this breed was created due to climate change and interbreeding. As the climate warmed and the Arctic ice melted, there weren't as many polar bears out, and that meant they had to mate with other species of bear. The bear gets its features from both of its parents. Their heads aren't sleek and they're not boxy. They have long claws and hairy feet. The pizzly's fur is partially hollow depending where it is on the body. These characteristics make it difficult for the bear to adapt to climate change. When the DNA test came back, it revealed the bear's mother was half polar bear, half grizzly. The father was full grizzly. That meant that the bear that David killed was 75% grizzly, 25% polar bear, and that's how it got its name, the pizzly bear. A group of scientists managed to trace the species back to one female polar bear in 2017. They called her Bear 10960. It took a lot of DNA testing to figure that out, and they determined that the female mated with two different polar bears and one polar bear twice. 
She had three litters. Scientists believe that she mated with a grizzly because there were no longer polar bears around. Only time will tell how many species of hybrid animals we will find due to changing climate. As climate change changes the way that animals hunt and breed, we might see this happening more often. Subscribe for more!